What's going on, ladies and gents? Welcome back to the studio. You're joining me for another um, follow along recipe today. Um, we're making our Vietnamese caramel ginger and savory chicken. Um, stick around with us and let's get this recipe going. If you do like what you see, please hit that like button and consider subscribing to the channel. It's completely free to do and it helps us out. So let's get into this recipe and see what we got. Alright, first of all, you want to start with a nice deep pan that you can get a lot of stuff in. You want to add your brown sugar um, in that pan. You're going to want to hit put it on medium to medium high heat because this is the process of making your caramel sauce. Alright, you're going to add some water to that sugar and you're going to pretty much bring it to a boil and reduce it all the way down to a nice, nice caramel. You don't want it to burn. You want it to be nice and brown and um, you know, you're going to see the bubbles as they reduce to a nice caramel state. Definitely give your pan a little bit of stir just to um, dissolve all the sugar in that water. And yeah. Now, as you're making your caramel sauce, as you, you start to reduce it and it becomes more and more, more that water starts to evaporate from your pan and you start to get more of that sugary caramel uh, smell and scent and aroma around the apartment I, one thing you gonna want to do is watch for any splashes don't make the sugar splash on your skin because that's a definitely burn you do not want so just be extra careful when you're working in this kind of process right? Just as a reminder, all your ingredients will be in the uh, details down below for this video. So you can check it out and see the measurements and all the other beautiful stuff. All right? So here we're going to have our shallots, our garlic, and our ginger already chopped up for you guys. So no prep montage, unfortunately. But we're going to, uh, once you had a nice, uh, uh, get into that caramel spot, you can see the bubbles right those big bubbles right there um, what you're gonna do is you're gonna add in all your shallots your garlic and your ginger and you're just gonna cook that out for a few minutes and we're gonna take you on to the next step after that as you can already um, tell this dish is gonna be a little bit sweet a little bit savory so if that's what if your taste bud is feeling some kind of ways treat it with this dish and uh, you'll be you'll not be disappointed at all not in the slightest all right everything's looking nice everything is looking good so what you want to add now is uh, a dash of your fish sauce right and you're just gonna cook that down for another three minutes on low at this point your pot should be on low not low but medium heat because you still want to reduce this liquid um, you don't want it to be too runny you want it to be more of a sauce consistency so you want it to you want it to get it back down to be more of like the caramel state right so once we add cook it for another three minutes we're gonna add in our chicken and we're gonna cook that down again to get all those flavors incorporated cook your chicken and we're going to have our main dish. It's a very simple um, dish to do. Very fast. Um, very cost affordable. Right? It shouldn't cost you more than, I would say, $25 to make this dish. I'm pretty sure some of you already have some of the ingredients in your cupboard already. Like the fish sauce. You might have some ginger, some garlic, some shallots laying around. You might just want to go buy the chicken and you know nowadays you could probably get a couple chicken thighs or chicken breasts or whatnot for about 13 10 13 dollars at the supermarket or grocery store so if you can find that it is a very simple dish to do ladies and gents and it shouldn't cost that much I'm trying to you know put some recipes that won't break the bank well, that, with that being said, um, you will definitely want to get your chicken, um, your heat back up to a nice high 
right bring it to a boil, uh, boil then you want to bring it back down to a little simmer and then you just want to reduce like I said reduce that sauce all the way down and that will give you the consistency you're looking for in this dish for the sauce and everything else all right so once again please consider subscribing please hit that like button if it is free and helps us out 100 percent um, so at this point now I'm gonna add one lime to our pot it just adds another level of flavor to the dish all right and as you can see we're we're almost approaching the end of this all that's left to be done now is just to reduce our sauce um, all the way down right get those flavors incorporated as it reduces you get that sweet get that savory you know um, Alright ladies and gents, so as you can see my liquid is almost reduced to where I exactly want it to be. You can save a little bit of that liquid back for your finished dish um, as a sauce. Right? So that's it ladies and gents. That's the recipe right there. If you follow it along, just um, the way I showed you step by step, make sure you follow the ingredients list in the details down below before you get started and you can do a follow along um, with this that I've left you uh, okay so that's it I'm gonna show you my plating after um, feel 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 free to follow that or you could just add your own twist to it mm -hmm. let me know down in the comments what you uh, what else you'll do to this dish or if you want me to redo it differently tweak it a little bit show you something different but check out the rest of our recipes on this channel we're doing a recipe each and every week so hopefully you guys like those hopefully you will come back hopefully we'll see you again on the next episode all right until then enjoy the rest of this video on do remember if you guys want to hit us up in any of our social media pages we are the details we're in the details as well we're on discord we're on linkedin we're on um twitter or should i say x but yeah all our social medias is on our page look us up reach out message us and let us know what you like what you don't like and yeah let's have a discussion and that's it ladies and gents we'll see you guys soon have a good one